<laughs> welcome or welcome back. This video is on Wii U emulation on the Steam Deck. Make sure your doctor at least have 90% battery on your Steam Deck before continuing. Head over to desktop mode. I'll be using a mouse and keyboard for ease of use. You must have Emu Deck set up prior to this tutorial. If you don't, please see the link in the description on how to install Emu Deck. First, verify if you've installed CMU. Click on the Steam Deck icon in the lower left. In the search box, type CEMU. If it's there, please skip the next chapter. If it's not there, please continue with the next chapter. Double click Emu Deck on your desktop. Let it check for updates. Select Custom Update, Continue. Select the micro SD card, Continue. Make sure Steam Deck is selected and Continue. Deselect everything except for CMU and Continue. Same thing here. Deselect and select CMU, Continue. I choose Epic Noir for my emulation station theme. I don't install homebrew games. Under We Will Install, you'll have CMU and Steam ROM Manager parsers checked. Under We Will Configure, you'll have CMU checked. And possibly under Customization, you may have bezels checked from your previous install. When the installation finishes, click Exit. Let's head over to the PC. Grab a thumb drive, preferably bigger than the games you're wanting to transfer. Select it. Right click and format to NTFS. This will delete everything on your thumb drive, so make sure to back up any data if needed prior to formatting. Before getting any game, let's check the compatibility of each game to see if it runs well on CMU. Head over to compat.cmu.info. See description for the link. I like to stay in the stats of perfect and playable. Perfect means games can be played with no issues. Playable means games can be played through with minor audio or graphical glitches. I first check the perfect stat filter. I'm looking for Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Looks fully supported by CMU. My next game is New Super Luigi U. This is fully supported by CMU too. On to the downloaded games. When downloaded, the games usually come in a compressed format, such as a 7Z, ZIP, or RAR files, and need to be uncompressed before use. I use 7-Zip to uncompress the downloaded games. See the description for the link. Select all the compressed files, right click, and roll over 7-Zip, then click Extract here. When finished, delete all the compressed files and any additional readme files. There are a few types of formats when you search for ROMs online. First I'll go over the RPX or also known as load line files. Let's look at the Mario Tennis Ultra Smash update and game. RPX slash loadline files have a directory that looks like this. These types of ROMs are decrypted and do not need a key to run. New Super Luigi U is in the WX format. A similar format is WUD. Both file formats will need a key to unlock the game so CMU can read the files. Let's get the keys. Head to the pastebin site. Link in the description. Click the download button. Save the file wherever you like. I saved it to my desktop. Rename the file, keys, all in lowercase, and hit save. Let's move our Wii U games we extracted. Head to where you extracted your Wii U games and copy them to your thumb drive. Keep in mind this may take some time depending on how many games you're moving. Now copy your keys file over to your thumb drive. Take your thumb drive and put it in your dock. If you don't have a dock, use a USB-A to a USB-C converter. See description for the link. Now you can put it to the USB-C port of your Steam Deck. Let's jump into desktop mode. I'll be using a keyboard and mouse for ease of use. Navigate to your thumb drive and copy the Wii U games you transferred. Copy them to the Wii U ROMs folder. Mine's under Primary, Emulation, ROMs, Wii U, ROMs, and paste them here. Next, copy the keys.txt file from your thumb drive to your Wii U folder. If you have a keys.txt file already in your Wii U folder, overwrite it. Let's get the games into gaming mode. Open EmuDeck on your desktop. After EmuDeck has looked for updates, select Tools and Stuff. Launch Steam ROM Manager and click Yes. Once open, maximize the window. Make sure the Wii U parsers are ticked on the left side. Hit Save. Scroll up and click Preview, then select Generate App List. After all the game cover art loads, click Save Apps to Steam. After this notification pops up, close Steam ROM Manager. Time to install game updates. Click on the Steam Deck icon in the lower left. 
navigate to the search box at the top and type in CEMU and run it. When loaded, hit file and click on install game title updates or DLC. Go to your update file. Mine is located under my computer, e colon, emulation, ROMs, Wii U, ROMs, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash update version 32, and code. Then hit open. If done properly, you will get a success window saying title installed. Lastly, we will install the gyro support for the Wii U. Open Emudeck, go to Tools and Stuff, select Gyro DSU, type in your pseudo password. This is not your Steam Deck lock password. If you do not have a password, set one by going to Settings, User, in Desktop Mode. If you forgot your password, check the link in the description for a video on how to reset your password. Once your password is entered, click Install Steam Deck Gyro DSU. After the dialog window disappears and the button you click turns gray, you're done with the gyro installation and can close the window. Additional tips. It is good to have to check the graphics pack for any Wii U game you install. Even though CMU's compatibility site said that New Super Luigi U runs with no problem, I was getting crashing after the main title screen. When this occurs, open CMU in desktop mode and go to the game, right click it and hit edit graphic packs. After the check for the latest community pack, look in the left window pane. There is a workaround that says, title screen crash fix. I'll go ahead and tick it. This will fix my crashing issue. If you tick the graphics box, you will get some options in the right pane. TV resolution, keep that at 1280 by 720 for the deck. Gamepad resolution, keep that at default. Shadow quality and blur quality, keep these both at medium for best performance on the emulator when running. Through your journey of searching for ROMs or dumping your own games, you may run into game folders that have a file structure like this one. If you do, these are not supported by CMU. Don't worry, I found a nifty program called c Decrypt to translate it to something that CMU can see. Check the description for the link. When you uncompress c Decrypt, you will see three files. Take the c Decrypt.exe file and copy or drop it into the game folder that you will end up moving to your deck. To run the program, drag the TMD file and let go of it on top of cdecrypt.exe file. You will get a command window that will run, and it will output three folders. Delete all files except for the three recently created folders. Double check to see if cdecrypt worked properly. In the code folder, you'll see a main.rpx file, which means the process was successful. My last tip is if the Wii U game you're playing is running too slow. This is caused by the deck's set frame rate. CMU wants to run at a constant 60 FPS, so if you change the FPS or have it set to 30 or 40 frames per second prior to running the Wii U game, it can feel like something's wrong. If you made it this far, what's the Wii U game you're looking forward to playing on the deck? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for hanging, and I'll see you in the next video.